Hello friends, welcome to Mechanical Engineering Online Classes. Today's lecture will be delivered by Miss Shravanti Sri Ramoju. Now we will learn how to derive an expression for torque transmitting capacity of a single plate clutch. So for that we are considering a clutch plate on either sides of which there is friction lining. So the pink color one on either sides of the clutch plate are the friction linings. So it is made of uh, a material which, which will exert more friction. So here we have considered an elemental ring of radius r and thickness dr and the clutch plate outer radius is r1 and inner radius is r2. Let us assume w is the axial load or axial thrust on the friction plate and T is the torque transmitted by the clutch torque transmitted by the clutch and uh, we have already discussed R1 and R2 are the outer and inner radii of the clutch plate capital N is the speed of shaft in rpm and let us suppose that small p is the pressure between the contact surfaces pressure at the contact surfaces so on here in the figure the red color arrow marks indicate pressure exerted on the clutch plate so it is indicated on the left side because on the left side of uh, the clutch plate we have the flywheel so the flywheel surface and the clutch plate surface will be in contact so there the pressure will be exerted and again mu is the coefficient of friction between the contacting surfaces now if I write the differential elemental area then dA will, will be equal to 2 pi r into dr because we have assumed when the circular ring is cut open and kept as a, a kept straight the length of that rectangular element will be 2 pi r and the thickness would be dr so it is length into breadth and dw is equal to pressure into area so pressure is P into 2 pi r dr. Similarly, if we consider the frictional resistance offered by the ring, which is indicated by dfr, it would be mu into normal reaction, which is dw. So it is mu into dw is P 2 pi r dr. 2 pi mu P r dr is dfr and similarly dtr this is the frictional torque acting on the ring then it will be equal to radius into frictional force so 2 pi mu p r dr whole multiplied by r so you will get 2 pi mu p r square dr now by applying uniform pressure theory we have p is equal to constant so p is e pressure is constant so pressure is nothing but load by contacting surface area so contacting surface area will be pi r1 square minus pi r2 square and the load is W so I, I can integrate this equation which is numbered as 1 DTR Equa equation 1 is integrated on both sides so we get 0 to T DTR is equal to 2 pi mu P R square DR and R varies from R2 to R1 
so if I integrate I get t is equal to 2 pi mu p these are all constants r cube by 3 varying from r2 to r1 so we get 2 by 3 pi mu p r1 cube minus r2 cube so I can replace p as w by pi into r1 square minus r2 square so I will be left out with 2 by 3 pi mu p is written as w by pi r1 square minus r2 square into r1 cube minus r2 cube so finally I will get 2 by 3 mu w into r1 cube minus r2 cube divided by r1 square minus r2 square this is the torque transmitting capacity of single plate clutch when we consider uniform pressure theory the second assumption is considering uniform wear theory so the wear is uh, uniform in the sense pressure multiplied by radius is constant so P is equal to capital C by R so DW we have already worked out this as P into DA so P into DA is 2 pi R P into 2 pi R DR this is DA now here I write P as C by R into 2 pi R DR so I can cancel out R from the numerator and denominator and I get DW as 2 pi C DR now if we integrate this equation on both sides then we get integral dw 0 to w is equal to 2 pi c dr integral r2 to r1 so here 2 pi and c are constants integral of dr will be r r2 to r1 so we will get 2 pi c into r1 minus r2 this is w so if we consider dtr equation from the above equation 1 we have dtr is equal to 2 pi mu p r square dr from considering the equation 1 so here we get P is replaced by capital C by R 2 pi mu capital C by R R square dr I can cancel out 1 R from the numerator 2 pi mu C R dr now again integrating this equation on both sides we get dtr varying from 0 to t integral dtr is equal to integral 2 pi mu c r dr integration varying from r2 to r1 so we get t is equal to 2 pi mu c r square by 2 varying from r2 to r1 2 can be cancelled pi mu c r1 square minus r2 square so I can replace the value of c again as here we got the value of c from this w equation c is in cross multiplying w by 2 pi into r1 minus r2 so same formula I am writing here pi into mu into w by pi 2 pi w by 
टू पै इंटू आर वन मैनस आर टू हॉल मल्टीप्लाइड बै आर वन स्क्वे मैनस आर टू स्क्वे सो पै कैन बी कैंसल एंड हाफ न्यू डबल्यू आर वन स्क्वे मैनस आर टू स्क्वे कैन बी रिटर्न एज आर वन प्लस आर टू इंटू आर वन मैनस आर टू डिवैडेड बै आर वन मैनस आर टू सो दिस टर्म कैन बी कैंसल सो वी बी लेफ्ट आउट वि इज ईक्वल टू हाफ म्यू डबल्यू इंटू आर वन प्लस आर टू दिस इज दवेशन आफ टॉर् ट्रांसपिटिंग कैपैसीटी आफ ए सिंगि प्लेट क्लच यूजिंग यूनिफॉम वेर थियरी सो द पवर ट्रांसपिटेड बै सिंगि प्लेट क्लच कैपिटल पी कैन बी फाउंड अवट यूजिंग द फॉर्मुला टू पै एन टी बै सिक्सटी वैट्स one very important point to be noted here is that if for example there is a contacting surface on the right side of the clutch plate also then there will be pressure on the right side also so there will be pressure on both sides of the clutch plate so in that case we have to multiply the torque equation by 2 in both the cases because there are two active surfaces of the single plate clutch so on either side there is friction so the torque transmitting capacity also will be double so the entire equation must be multiplied by 2 in in both the uniform pressure case and as well as uniform wear case let us now look into the multiple plate clutch or multi plate clutch where it is different from that of the single plate clutch in single plate clutch we have only single clutch plate and whereas in multiple plate clutch or multi plate clutch there are several clutch plates placed one beside the other and all of them will be having friction linings so there are several number of uh, contacting surfaces now if we assume that n1 is the number of plates on the driving shaft and n2 is the number of plates on driven shaft then let n is equal to number of the number of pairs of contact surfaces which will be equal to n1 plus n2 minus 1 so here how many number of contacting surfaces are there there are n number of contacting surfaces if there was only one contacting surface as as in the case of single plate clutch the formula was somewhat like this half mu w into r1 plus r2 when we consider uniform wear theory and uh, t would be equal to 2 by 3 mu w into r1 cube minus r2 cube divided by r1 square minus r2 square so in this case there was single contacting surface but in the in the case of multi plate clutch we had n number of contacting surfaces so t in that case will be equal to n into the same formula as it is even in the second case it is t is equal to n into half mu w into r1 plus r2 thanks for watching if this video was of help to you please like it and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel